All right, today we are gonna be doing one of my favorite types of fishing. We are down here at a South Florida canal. Let me just say the possibilities here are endless. Last time I was around this area, it was like a year ago, we caught peacock bass, snakeheads, so much more. This is the type of water where like you just don't know. There's snook in here, there's a bunch of exotic fish. A lot of people like release pets and they end up in these South Florida waterways and it's just crazy stuff. I'm excited. I really wanna catch my first peacock of 2023. I have not caught a peacock bass in a while. Again, I'm from Delaware, so just to get the opportunity to catch these fish is freaking sick. The plan is just to kind of work our way down the canal, tossing out some bait. So we stopped at the tackle shop and we got some juicy, oh, look at them in there, some live shiners. Gotta get these used in the shade. All right, maybe that'll help real quick. We got the bubbler going in there. I was talking about, let's get rigged up. I'm gonna start here and work our way down. There's a really good spot all the way down that way that I'm excited to hit, but yeah, let's get this freaking started. All right, we're ready to go. Let's hop in here. We got medium shiners and we got some small ones. Let's get this dude on a hook real quick. We have a two-aught circle hook. I think we're just gonna put it through the mouth like that and boom. It's a lot of fish in here that just simply cannot resist. Shiner. Okay, okay, hold on. Hold on, guys. I don't want to spook anything. There we go. Oh, oh my gosh. They see it. I'm in front of two peacocks right now. Dude, 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 dude. I got one. I got one. I got one. Oh yeah, come here. <laughs> this is the small one, dude. Let's freaking go. First catch of the day, first fish of the day. These things rip if you're not careful with your fingers. I'm not gonna say first catch of the day because I had some flubs. It's tough sometimes. Oh, there's some more peacocks right there. They're paired up right now. I wonder if they're like kind of spawning-ish. Where's the pliers at? Oh, first fish of the day. Let's get back in the water. Hold on. You gotta get a good, where's the sun, man? There we go. Look at those colors, dude. Oh my gosh. What's crazy is this is the small one. Don't roast me. There she goes. Oh, strong. Don't roast me on the lip grippers, man. In past times, especially last year, when I was catching these peacocks, dude, they, they thrashed the freaking thumb all up and I was dropping them. This just helps me get like a better, you know what I mean? So they don't go smacking all over the ground. Anyway, there was a big one, like twice the size of that freaking peacock. And as I came back, I saw even more peacocks. This might be a fire day. We just got to sneak up on them. From experience, I mean, you guys can kind of see how clear this water is. Like if they see you, oh, dude, there's... Is that a peacock or cichlid? These South Florida canals are so crazy. Whew. All right, if you guys could, man, go down there, hit that thumbs up button. I don't ask for much these days, but it really would be appreciated and hopefully it'll get some good luck going here. That is so cool. So ugh, let's get the bag, keep walking down. I think that these fish are spawning because I see a lot of them paired up, all the ones that I've seen. I want to give you guys a better look while I'm fishing too. I know that probably wasn't the best angle because I was hiding behind the, you know what I mean? I was stealth mode activated, dude. There's the big one. Will he bite after I just yoinked his woman? Or is this the woman? I know the males have the big humps on their heads. I want to catch one of those today if we can. Let's see, for this dude. Oh, this is a good one. That's a good one. Try not to backlash either. Sometimes it gets tough casting. All right, that was a good cast. All right, where's that big one at? Oh, I see it. Wait, what the heck? Oh, dude, it's right next to him. Oh! <gasps> he smacked it. Wait, does he, he has it. Oh, no! I lost my, my, my minnow, my shiner. Dude, this fish is gonna eat us. 
This fish is gonna eat. Maybe if there's a bigger. Is there any big, big boys in here? Oh my gosh. This is a freaking. This is a peacock. Let me tell y'all. Dude, it's right in his face. <sighs> Come on, eat it. Oops, dude, small freaking peacock. What is going on? This place is alive. I want to just drop a fat freaking. Try putting it through the back. I don't want to waste all my shiners. I guess we're not wasting them. We're spending them oh my god dude this guy's big he has the hump too this is exactly what we want to catch please bite this yo this guy's like a thousand percent guarding something I got him. I got him. I got him. Oh my god. We finessed that. Come up here, please. Oh my god. That's one of the biggest peacock bass I've ever caught. Alright, get off the ground. Holy crap. Oh, just came out. Look, just came out. Oh, oh. Okay, hold on. Get the grippers. Oh, dude. That took like four shiners. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, chill. This is why you come to freaking South Florida, dude. Oh gosh, that's what I'm talking about. They will rip your freaking thumb to shreds. Oh gosh, that is so sick. Look at that hump too. All right, let me get a quick picture, or at least try to let them go right away. If they're guarding something, I want to get back to guarding it. I'm freaking hyped, dude. Let's get him back in the water. So sick. Look at that hump on his head too. I want to touch that. It is squishy. I either touched it before or I heard somebody say, squishy that thing is squishy oh, 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 dropping the hammer second fish of the day is a real one okay i'm so happy i made the drive here i don't know if i said this now but this is like pretty far from where i'm staying but it was like the perfect day i was like dude i really want to get on some of these fish before um, like we're kind of getting out of this area of south florida here like tomorrow actually Whew. And I knew I just, I wanted to catch a peacock, man. <sighs> All righty, let's keep her moving. So what I kind of do is like walk on the ledge. I'm barely peeking over, man. I'm like ghillie suit boy out here. If they see you? I don't know if these peacocks really care, but the freaking snakehead. I remember I saw a snakehead last year and I just like peeked my eyeball out and he went. Pshum. All right, so we're working our way down to the secret spot. Keep an eye out for snakes, alligators, which I would not be surprised if there's gators all throughout this freaking canal. And most of all, the most dangerous, the Florida person. No offense, Florida, but y'all got some interesting people, especially around like Miami area. As far as setup goes, we have 17 pound fluoro, and this is a two aught circle hook. And this is gonna be a fish on the end of our line. Watch this. Yeah. This is definitely a type of fishing that I would probably not use spinning gear for because I tried last year. Unless you have super heavy spinning gear. These things are strong, dude. You really want to yoink them. Alright. Oh my god! Dude, tighten that. Tighten that. Oh my! Next time I fish here, I'm definitely going to have to bring a camera person. Just because, like, I just wish you guys saw. I was just thinking about it in my head. This water's pretty clear, and you could see that peacock. Like, like he would bop that freaking shiner and then he'd go away act like he didn't care and then he'd come back and he put it in his mouth and he spit it out put it out in his mouth spit it out one time he just put it a little too far in his mouth don't worry hopefully we'll get some good eats down here oh no no i think somebody's fishing this spot dude no don't get me wrong i enjoy like it's good to see people out fishing and enjoying fishing and stuff but dang it that hurts sometimes how's it going man any luck All right, we're gonna go this way now. Switching it all up. You know, actually, if you guys wanna see me crush some of those fish that were in that pipe, I'll put the video in the description. After this video, go check that one out if you don't get your fill of Miami peacock 
crazy canal fishing. Guys, this is like Pokemon, man. Literally, there's a wild twainer. Twain. Whittlewee, there's a wild twain. Oh, a random guy came up there to fish now. Oh, 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 oh. You just gotta be careful, because again, today is very hot. I don't know if I said that. I mean, we're in Miami, so I guess you can guess it. It is toasty. So we just wanna keep that bubbler going and keep these shiners going. All right, I saw a peacock. I don't know if he's anywhere in the vicinity. Oh, there we go. Is that a peacock? Oof. Golly. There we go. Whew. Third one of the day. It's not a bad one. I don't know if this is the one we saw. I think it might be. All right, chill out. Chill, 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 chill. This one we could probably handle with our hands. It's like lipping the freaking Tasmanian devil. Like I don't want to drop them on the ground and make them go pop. Boom. Was that third? Oh, there he goes. Third one of the day. I sniped his freaking peacock self. You can see him from out of the water looking in. And then when you get him out of the water, it's just like, holy. It literally is like Pokemon, man. We're walking through the tall grass right now. This grass is like short, but never know what we're gonna stumble on over to our right. I guess the one thing I will say, if you're gonna be doing this type of fishing, you don't need them, but um, some sunnies, like a polarized pair of sunglasses, even if you just get like a cheap one from Walmart, it doesn't really matter. But just being able to see the fish when you're doing something like this, especially, I guess, during this time of the year, when they're up here shallow, helps a lot. Get a little bit more information. It's like having a UAV up. Nah, it's like, it's like having a blackbird up, dude. I've just been talking to myself here for a second. Look how pretty this freaking fish is. Holy crap, look at the hump. That's embarrassing though. <laughs> Literally was talking to myself. Yeah. All right, stealth time. You guys weren't listening, I guess, but to the right a little bit, I, ah, dude, there was like a fish and I didn't know what it was. We were trying to snipe it and then I got smacked in the face with a freaking dragonfly, freaked me out, threw me off my game, but I think I saw a big catfish. It checked out our minnow, but it just did not want the minnow, which is okay. You know, in life, not everybody's gonna want your minnow. Ooh. Hello, what are you? Sometimes when they're a little deeper, I can't tell if it's like a tilapia, cichlid, peacock. All right, one right to my left, dude. Dude, that's not a peacock. Oh, that's one over there, though. Hold on. There's actually one right here. I got like a backlash, like crazy. Eat it, eat it, eat it. Oh, there's a couple right there too. There we go. That was a smaller one. That was one that just came over, a little couple. You were not even the one I was after. All right, am I recording this time? Thank gosh. Boom. I wonder if that's gonna deter the other one from biting. There was a really decent sized one over there. Chill. Thank you. Appreciate your cooperation. Boom, whoa, 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 whoa. There he goes. All right, there was a really nice one. These shiners are starting to uh, hit a wall for sure. It's just like, the bubbler can only do so much. Oh, yeah, hold on. I think we might have another chance. I mean, regardless, we don't have like all the shiners in the world left. But yeah, it's just so hot out, you know? Oh, geez. Maybe the best thing for this would be like a cooler type aerator where it just keeps the heat out 100%. Wait a second. All right, anybody else right around here? There was like just four and then I call it and now it's like ghost town.
All right, finishing up this video right now. I'm so happy that I got to get down there and catch some of these peacocks. It's such a cool experience. I'm excited for what's up next too. Again, we're just gonna keep this thing rolling. Again, thank you guys so much for all the freaking support on these videos. Thank you guys for watching. See you next video. Boop. You wanna know just where?